What it do, what it do, what it do, man. BY3 the hallway. Y'all make sure y'all go like, comment, subscribe, share, all that good shit. Life made it five back at it again, man. The realest one on the net, boss talk of business. You know what to do. Subscribe. If you're new to the channel, subscribe, like these videos, share these videos. Don't skip no ass, man. Let's get right to it. Man, I cannot believe this sucker, man. Anyway, man, let's, let's get to it, man. Brick baby. This dude here is, I just can't believe it. Everybody putting OTF jam out there. You know, he the red, he the snitch, blah, blah, this, blah, blah, that. But nobody is talking about Brick Baby. I see Wet 100 going at him. I see a couple of folks talking about it. But I was talking about this like about four or five days ago. But I got a clip for y'all to watch. I got two clips. But first, I want you to check out this one, and we're going to be right back with it. I didn't do shit, but at the end of the day, what's wrong with giving my friend the address? Nigga, oh, look, this is my boy. He lost his boy. The niggas who did it could be around. I'm, shit, nine times out of ten, if had he had asked me, shit, I probably would have been. Uh, you know, if he even asked anybody, if this is even true. But nine times out of ten, nigga, like I said, can I, can I leak a bar? Sure. I said, if he make the car right now, I dig his ass up and... Right. That was again. a crazy one. <laughs> Man, first off, this dude got a federal gun case. A federal gun case for a chopper that he got caught with in California. And you know you can't have choppers out there. And I know AKs, nothing like that, man. It's, it ain't the South, you feel me? So this man got a federal gun case. He on no jumper, smoking wet, popping perks, smoking blunts, doing all these drugs. While he out, I want to say out on a federal federal bond or whatever. And you implicate yourself in a crime because basically what you're saying is, okay, my homeboy needs to know these do location. So they can go in and take them out. I'm gonna give them the location so they can go take them out. So you you're assisting you assisting in in the unaliving of little pal, bro. That's a crime. That is a crime. You feel me? And it ain't me on her getting on her snitching. He's snitching on himself. You feel me? He said that. You see in the clip? It wasn't me. It's him. That's what I don't get, man. Like people can get on on. On, on a camera, man, and and want to make themselves seem like they so hood, so gangster, to the point they go and incriminate themselves. And then when they get locked up, the first thing everybody always holler. Somebody told on me. Somebody told on me. Now in that paperwork they got going around, it don't say nobody names. It's like co co conspirator four, co conspirator three, co conspirator two, co conspirator one. That dude is in that, in that, he, he's involved, I don't care what you say. I don't care how nobody put it, that dude is involved, man. If you walk like a duck, talk like a duck, quack like a duck, it's a duck. If a dude act like an informant, talks like an informant, it's an informant. Period. Point blank. And then, man, check this out. I got another clip. I got another clip. Now watch this one, and we're going to come right back. Technically signed to him, but he was rolling around and like presenting as if he was signed to him. I say Z Money almost get decapitated before. By what? By OTF. Sheesh. What? Man, we was in Austin one year. I let Tory, but we was on Cuz ass. I didn't even know who it was. Cuz was out. They coming to pick me up from my hotel. And the dude right here with the dog. And they like, oh, that's bro. We getting the sprinter. And we get to getting real lurkish. Then the Sprinter turns into a, a hot car. Yeah, they done got him a striker. Yeah, you better be lucky for, for the guy. From a Sprinter to a striker. Yeah, <laughs> Sprinter to a striker is crazy. You better be lucky that the game guys was on his side. He know. He know that, though. Oh, Ain't gonna talk about it. I can't oh, say no names and all that. But this one, we was, it's like 15. South by Southwest. Speaking of Texas, that's it? before he even like had his whole run. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm like, Z-Money? Yeah. I'm like, I heard about Z-Money. His head was on the platter. <laughs> Man, I tell you, bro, if if Lil Durk is a homeboy, he got one hell of a way showing it. 
You feel me? If that's your homeboy, you sure do have one hell of a way of showing it. And like I said in my last video, I just dropped a video talking about this. Y'all go check that out. Uh, I think it's titled Lil Dirt. Lil Dirt something, man. I don't know. It's like one of the last videos I just uploaded. But go check it out because I said a lot of things in that video. But this dude claims to be Lil Dirt, homie. But you keep going on no jumper trying to trying to cater to Adam. Y'all slave master, basically, because I swear he just he just running y'all. Y'all trying to cater to Adam. And Adam really is the one that pushed the pushed the narrative, you feel me? Because when Adam was asking him, check this out. Brick was saying that he was locked up in jail, right? Now these are his own words. He said he was locked up in jail. When this happened to Pal. So, Adam22 got to ask him a bunch of questions. Because he said, man, first you know you were saying you was in Atlanta. Then you were saying you was in Texas. And then he goes, nah, 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 nah. When King Von passed, I was in jail. When Lil Pal passed, I was in Atlanta. Bruh, what the hell do it matter? If you was in jail when Vaughn passed, what that got to do with Lil Pab and Quando, you know, getting getting shot at or whatever at the gas station when Lil Pab got unalive? What do that got to do? What do you have going to jail when Vaughn died got to do with that? You see, that's when people talk too much. You talk so much, and then you give yourself away. That's the problem with a lie. That's the problem with a lie. You got to keep it up. And you got to remember everything that you said. But you don't obviously remember everything you said because you be so thrown off and high all the time. So you, you forgetting what you telling everybody. So now it's out. You was in Atlanta when Lil Pab got unalived. Meaning that you was there. You know, you you were sending. I don't think you was in Atlanta myself. I think you was in L.A. But either way, you were sending, you know, dirt in them, the... The info, you know, okay, they here, they there, they just got here and all that. But I said that in my last video, ain't it messed up that Quando are rolling 60? Brick Baby are rolling 60. That happened with Quando. And like this, like I said in my last video, this is what Wax said, but I agree with him on this. Soon as Quando get back to, to Georgia, what's the first thing you do? You drop his flag. But why would a man drop his flag? I made a video about that when all that happened, and I didn't understand it at the time. But now that time has passed and a lot of stuff came out, now I get it. Now I understand why he dropped his flag. And there's a lot more they got to do with that, but a lot of that other stuff is kind of speculation. And this ain't what this channel about. You know, I speak on facts. And even though it's not a fact that Brick told or he's he's giving information, I can I can say like I'm I'm about ninety percent sure on it now. Because he keep backtracking, he keep lying. He he's not he's not staying with the story that he's given the first time. And all I gotta say is, you know, all this will come out, no matter how much you might want want it not to, or or how much you you know over talk it, and you can go on no jump and tell as many stories as you want to. But any sane street person with some sense can put two and two together and come up with four. You feel me? And that's what I done. Now, everybody's watching this video at home, come up with your own conclusion. Because I don't see Brick name no paperwork. I don't. I don't see OTL Jam no paperwork neither. But I do know what Brick's saying. I know what he's saying on him. And to me, sound like an informant, bro. Hey, you can say what you want, but that would it sound like to me. You feel me? And it will come out. Right now they say Dirk, he in good spirits. You know, he ain't, he's not stressing. They say the only thing he complaining about is the food, but at least he's in good spirits. And he pled not guilty. You feel me? He pled not guilty. So maybe Dirk knows something that we don't know. But who gonna go and plead guilty on something that you can get life or the death penalty for, you know? I wouldn't either. <laughs> you feel me? But we're going to see how this all turn out. But I can guarantee you this, though. I can guarantee you this. 
it will come out. It will come out. Anything done in the dark will come to the light. So, I'll let 06 sub on the dead homies and blah, 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 all that. Man, you miss me with it, bro. Ain't nothing straight about you. Ain't nothing real about you. Man, I just don't understand these so-called street dudes that get on get on cameras and just run their mouth the way they do. I ain't buying it, homie. I don't know about nobody else, but I ain't buying it, homie. Y'all let me know what y'all think about it in the comments, though. Be right through the hallway. Make sure y'all go like, comment, subscribe, share, all that good shit. As always, men, hold up for your shit. Do what you're supposed to do, not what you want to do. And I'm out.